Hello, I'm Digby Jones, and uh, thanks for giving me some time. Well, here we are at the Harvey Nash uh, Annual Conference in my hometown of Birmingham, and uh, we're looking at a survey of the results of the feelings of businessmen and women in this part of the world. Firstly, optimism, yeah, better than a year ago, but still a bit flaky. Then, of course, we're looking at uh, where's your biggest threat coming from in other markets, still China. But then, interestingly, where have they put investment of time and effort and risk in the last 12 months? Mainly India and China, a little bit of Eastern Europe. And then we're looking again at what does government do? What are our political leaders doing about getting behind the wealth creators of our nation? And there, yes, the current government is having a, a, a better reaction in this audience, why wouldn't they, than the opposition, but still not absolutely brilliant. And of course there are some challenges at the moment which uh, every businessman and woman understands but could just do with a bit of a leg up. For instance, the private sector has got to mop up these redundancies coming out of the public sector as we rebalance the economy. So can someone explain to me why we have a tax on jobs? Employers' national insurance contributions is the only tax in this nation that doesn't tax income or capital gain, making money, but taxes the creation of a job. Are we mad? For instance, we have a government that says, I believe in a manufacturing strategy, and that the first whiff of gunshot, what do they do? Go and buy German trains, not those made in Derby. That really helps, doesn't it? A government that knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. And then an opposition leader who stands up and says, all you businessmen and women out there, you're at it. We don't like you. Well, that really helps when you think that business is the only agent in our society that generates taxation. Because when you make money in a business, you can either reward the shareholders, they pay tax on it, keep it in the business, you pay tax on it, or you employ people and they pay tax on it. So at the end of the day, if you don't have business, you don't have taxation. So business and government, those who make the rules, I think business is entitled to have those who make the rules actually working alongside them and not against them. Is it better than a year ago? Yeah. Are we going to see the sunlit uplands of growth over the next two or three years? Probably not. It's probably going to bobble along and just get a little bit better every month. But I'm not a double dip man. But on the other hand, don't look for some stupendous growth in the next couple of years. It's a time for cool heads. It's a time for believing. It's a time for investing in people. Get the best out of those you have. Train them, skill them. And take the risk. Employ one more. Because they will always be grateful. They'll always support you. And at the same time, you can maximise their talent and deliver the goods. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching me. And have a good day.